The following is a class given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 18, 1968, in Los Angeles. Jack, yeah, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Amen. The first vibration is Jack. <laughs> Anandamaya Bhyata. This Krishna consciousness is simply full of bliss. Nobody should become morose. Ah. If he is feeling morose, then it is lack of Krishna consciousness. This is the sign. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Naso Chati Nakankati. Krishna consciousness is a stage after liberation. Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta means I am now free from all material anxieties. That is called Brahma Bhuta stage. Uh, just like a person suffering prison life for years together, and if he is given freedom, now you are free. How much delight he will feel. Oh, now I am free. You see? So that is the stage of Brahma Bhutta. Prasannāpa. Jāya. Immediate. And what is the nature of joyfulness? Nasochat. Oh, even the great loss, oh, there is no lamentation. And big profit, uh, there is no jubilation, or there is no hankering. That is called Brahma Bhutta. Uh, if we post, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Pana Sochati Nakam Kati Samasarvesu Bhuteshu. In that stage, uh, one can see all living entities on the same understanding of spiritual identity. This, in another place, Bhagavad Gita says, Pandita Samadarsha. When a man is learned, he sees everyone on the same level of spiritual understanding. <coughs> so, when one has reached this stage, then actually Krishna consciousness begins. Mat bhakti lavate para. So Krishna consciousness is so nice that it is activities of liberate stage. Everyone is trying to get liberation from these material pangs. Every philosopher. Buddha philosophy, they are also trying. Nirvan. Nirvan means extinguish this. So they want to make void all these material varieties, they want to make it zero. That is Buddha philosophy. Oh, Mayabad philosophy is more or less like that. It is the second edition of Buddha philosophy. Zero, but that zero is without life. The Mahamad philosophy says, yes, that zero, but with life. That is the mistake. Ah. If there is life, then there must be variety. Life without variety is not possible. Dead body without variety, not life with, uh, without variety. The, these are the defects of all other philosophies. They are def not defects, but the class of people Amongst whom the philosophy was taught, they could not understand more than that. That's all. Uh, 
Just like a patient too much disturbed, he wants some medicine from the physician. Please stop my disturbance. Kill me. Kill me. Sometimes they say like that. Give me some poison. Kill me. I cannot tolerate. A physician says, yes, there is no need of killing. I shall give you a good healthy life. He is uh, so much impatient. No, I cannot tolerate. Please kill me. So this Buddha philosophy, Mahabharata philosophy is like that. Kill him. Kill me, please. Make me zero. Boy. Uh, so much frustration. So much uh, disturbance that they want to make it zero. But our philosophy is life, real life. But it is difficult to understand this philosophy, Krishna philosophy. Why it is difficult? That is explained. Grihabhratāna. Grihabhratāna, griha means house. So brata means bhav. Just like everyone, common man, anywhere, they are interested with these bodily comforts, nice apartment, nice country, nice state, confident, nice bank balance. These things are their aspiration, no more, nothing more. First of all, this body, griha, griha means house, living place. So I am the soul, I am living, and this body is my first living place. This is also griha. I am not this body. Just like I am living in this apartment, I am not this apartment. Similarly, I am living in this body, but I am not this body. This is the beginning of spiritual education. Unless one does not understand that I am not this body, I am living in this body. There is no question of spiritual education. He does not know what is spiritual and material. So this misunderstanding that I am this body, I belong to this apartment, I belong to this society, I belong to this country, I belong to this nation, I belong to this world, I belong to this universe, you can expand. There is all misunderstanding. All misunderstanding. Uh, if, you, if you say, oh, now I am not, just like big leaders, they say that my life is for the nation. And some ordinary common man says, oh, my life is for my family. And uh, less important person, just like child life, he is or she is for this body. That's all. So this expansion from bodily concept of life to family life or to from family to community life, from community to society life or national life or universal brotherhood life, that is very uh, much appreciated. Oh, this man is after universal brotherhood. Uh, these are all bogus. You see? But this is a misconception. You can expand. How are you may expand? The defect will be there. Just like the so-called nationalist or 
humanitarian or universalist. They are packed up within the boundary of the human being. There are no expansions towards other living entities. That natural conception that a human body should be given protection, but animal body, no protection. Why? They are also national, but they have no such idea because all these ideas are defect. There is sakka. So only Krishna consciousness is the perfect. So Bhagavad says, Nati vidush matinna krishne parato sato ba mitho vipadrita grihabhrtana. So actually griha means this material confinement. Griha, real griha means uh, one is bound up uh, within some limited space. So griha means uh, uh, to keep oneself within some boundary. So Bhagavad says, so long one is interested to keep himself within the boundary of some limited area. Here. He cannot understand Krishna consciousness. Matinna Krishna. He cannot understand what is Krishna consciousness or God consciousness. He is limited within certain boundaries. So Bhagavad says, Krishna consciousness is not possible for persons who are limited by certain boundary, including universal concept of life. That is also bound. And Matinna Krishna Sata. Sata means by his personal mental speculation. Just like many philosophers are thinking to reach the absolute truth beyond this limitation, that is called sata, by personal speculation. Sata, parata, parata means from authorities from spiritual master, from scriptures, from authoritative books, authoritative source of knowledge, that is called parata. Uh, matinna krishne parato satuva mitho. Mitho means by great assembly, just like the United Nations is trying to solve the problem for the last many years, twenty, thirty-five years, all the nations. This is called mitho, assembly. Mitho means assembly. So why it is not possible? Because they are limited. Their real concept is that I am this body, I am this nation, I am this, this, and this, and this. The basic principle is wrong. Therefore, it is not possible to make a solution of the problems either by personal speculation or by receiving knowledge. Just like our principle is to receive knowledge from the uh, spiritual master. But if I keep myself within this boundary, Suppose if somebody thinks that I am American, uh, then naturally he will be inclined, uh, why shall I uh, be inclined to hear from a spiritual master who is Indian, he is Hindu. So he will not be able to capture Parato. Uh, similarly, you, if you go to the assembly like United Nations or Commonwealth um, uh, um, Conference like that, 
But if you keep yourself that I am this, I am this, I am this, there is no possibility. Therefore they are failing. The basic principle is wrong. Grihabhrata. The concept of life is wrong. Grihabhrata, no? And why they want to be limited by this poor concept of life? This is called material existence. Adanta govi visatang tamisram. This limited concept of life is due to unbridled sense. This limited concept of life they want to keep because they want to satisfy their senses. I am going to the assembly, United Nations, but I am keeping myself as American or as German, as Russian or Indian, that my nation shall be uh, happy in this way. Indian is thinking in that way, American is thinking in that way, Russian is thinking in another way, another way. They are keeping themselves in that limited area, and what benefit they will derive simply by wasting time in the assembly and talking. This is called Gihabhutana. So one has to go outside this limited area. That is called Brahma Buddha stage. Then they will have real Krishna consciousness. So, uh, why I want that uh, I shall be happy in this way? I make my own plan. My nation will be happy in this way. Uh, uh, this is called samsara. Adanta Gobi, because I want to satisfy my senses. Adanta Gobi, Visatang from Islam. And uh, the position is Puna Puna Chad Vita Charvanana. Puna Puna Chad Vita Charvan. Chad Vita Charvan means chewing the chewed. Something is chewed and thrown away in the street. And oh, so if somebody comes and chews, Again, that thrown away article, he cannot get any uh, juice out of it. Similarly, we are making plan, but because it is on the platform of sense gratification, the whole thing is coming to the four principles of animal life, eating, sleeping, mating, defending. That means in a circle coming to the same animal platform, that the distinction between animal and man is that man and animal, they have got common platform of these four principles of life, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. The only extra qualification of man is that he can come to understand what is Krishna and what is God. That is his special qualification. But because they are trying to keep themselves within the limit of sense gratification, they are coming again and again to that same platform, eating, sleeping, making, and defending, uh, uh, without Krishna consciousness. So, uh, this is the um, secret how to become Krishna conscious. Uh, so we should not limit ourselves under certain area. And how it is possible? That is Krishna consciousness. That I am eternal servant of Krishna or God. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, so if we keep ourselves within some limit, then it will be not possible to understand what is Krishna consciousness. These verses, Bhagavad verses, can be explained 
for so many days. They are so important. Yes. The another verse is, why is they are uh, keeping themselves within the limit of this sense gratificatory platform? Uh, that is answered in Bhagavad. Nati vidu shatha gatin hi vishnu durasayadi bohiratthamanina. This is very important. These foolish persons, they do not know what is the ultimate goal of their life. Nati vidu shatha gatin hi vishnu. They do not know that their self-interest, everyone is self-interest, everyone is in, uh, eager to look after his self-interest, but they do not know what is the self-interest, durāsaya, uh, because they do not know. Therefore, out of ulterior motive, they are thinking that uh, uh, satisfaction in the material way of life will give me ultimate uh, pleasure or ultimate satisfaction. That is my ultimate goal. <coughs> Therefore the scientist, the politician, everyone is trying, making their own plan. And what is that plan? This is with, uh, by manipulating this external energy, Dura Bohirat, Bohirat, mind. Now we are preaching Krishna consciousness. People are not interested in this thing. Had I been an expert uh, in certain technology, electronics, improvement in electronics, then thousands of students and people would come and hear me. Bohiratthamāni, no? Because a person is dealing with the uh, ingredients of the external energy. Uh, people are thinking this technological, technological knowledge will give me happiness. Uh, durasaya. That is durasaya. That is useless hope. Bhagavad says this kind of hope that this kind of material advancement, this kind of material adjustment, uh, after all it is material, that will not give you happiness. But they are uh, thinking like that. <coughs> they are hoping like that. Durasaya. Durasaya de vahiratthamanina. Andhārathāndhai rupaniyamāna. Andhā. This means that we are blind. We do not know what is the goal of our life. Stop. We do not know what is the goal of our life. And the leaders, they also do not know what is the goal of our life. Uh, our uh, back to God and uh, editorial, <coughs> then written very nicely that uh, with the change of some politician, we are thinking that something new will be done and we shall be happy. Uh, that's right. There is advertisement America needs Nixon now. People are thinking, now, instead of Johnson, when Mr. Nixon will be president, oh, he shall be happy. But they do not know uh, from which stop either this Mr. Johnson or Nixon is coming. The source of supply is the same. If the source of supply is the same, then what is there? Uh, replacing Mr. Johnson by Nixon or by Nixon by Johnson. The leader themselves, they are blind. They do not know. 
What is the ultimate goal of life? Therefore, our position is that we are blind and our leaders are blind. So what will be the result? If a blind man leads other hundreds of men, hundred men to cross over the street, certainly there will be some accident. Because all of them are blind men. If one man is uh, with eyes, open eyes, he can lead hundreds and thousands of men behind him. But if the leader and the lead, both of them are blind, then the result will be that all of them will fall into the ditch. So, andha jathanda irupani yamana ste isatantra urudhāmi badhyā. They are promising, my dear uh, citizens, my dear countrymen, if you give me hope, because the country needs me at the present moment, then I shall give you all comforts, all solutions. But he is isatantra rudāmi vadhyā. By the laws of God, by the laws of nature, he is tightly packed up. If your hands are tightly knotted, your legs are tightly, then how you can work? So these leaders, they do not know that they are under the control of the stringent laws of nature. Prakite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarma. Suppose if there is a heavy earthquake, Suppose the Atlantic Ocean, and there is some suggestion like that, some years they will mix together by the scientists. Then suppose the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean mix together. Then how you can check? Your hands and legs are tightly packed up. You cannot check the laws of nature. Therefore blind leaders who are uh, so tightly packed up by the laws of nature, how they can lead? They cannot lead. They cannot lead to the goal of life. The goal of life is God or Krishna. But they are uh, enamored by the glimmering or glittering of this material nature. So they cannot lead. Uh, then how? What is the solution? He, Krishna consciousness, is not possible to cultivate by speculation, by assembly meeting, or uh, by knowledge derived from uh, higher authoritative sources, the leaders are misleading. Then how it is to be attained? How the goal of life can be attained? Then, that is suggested by Prahlad Maharaj. Naishang Matistava Durutkramang Green. One cannot uh, become Krishna consciousness. One cannot become Krishna conscious. Naishang Matistava Durutkramang Green. Anartha. Anartha Upadama Jadarthya. Pishattanartha Pagamo Jadartha. As soon as one becomes Krishna conscious, or one becomes in touch with Krishna consciousness, Pishati, Anartha, immediately he becomes uh, delivered from all this misgiving of material existence. That is the test. How one is uh, in contact with Krishna consciousness, will be tested how he is freed from all misgivings. That's like, for example, uh, not very uh, gigantic example, but very small. Uh, our students, as soon as they attack to Krishna consciousness, initiated, Immediately, so many misgivings, they give up. 
so many. The basic principles of mystery. Uh, what is that? No. Uh, illicit sex. Uh, no intoxication. No meaty thing. No bad. Uh, uh, it is very difficult for persons, especially in the Western countries, to give up all these habits. They are so much entangled. Even Lord Ronald said, Marquis of Jetland, one of my god brothers, uh, some years ago, in 1935, he went to London, and, and Lord Jetland, uh, Marquis of Jetland, Lord, Lord Ronald said, uh, he was a Scotsman. I don't think whether he is living, but he, is, he was very interested in Indian philosophy. He was once governor of Bengal. In our childhood we saw him. He came to our college. <coughs> so he inquired from this preacher, oh my God, brother, that uh, Banerjee, he was Mr. Banerjee, Goswami Banerjee, Banerjee, can you make us Brahmin? Uh, Banerjee said, hey, why not? Yes, we can make you Brahmin. Then you have to follow the rules, these four principles of rules. Then you can be, become a Brahmin. He said, oh, it is impossible. He said, you see, such a big personality, uh, he is interested in philosophy. He holds some position. Responsible man, he flatly denies that oh, it is not possible to give up this habits. But our student, unless or to them who are coming to Krishna consciousness, they are giving up very easily. They don't feel any inconvenience. This is Vishatya anartha bhagamo jadatya. Krishna consciousness, the first test is that in the beginning, from the very beginning, all misgivings will go on. Our student can twenty-four hours sit down before a deity and chant Hare Krishna. Bring any student of any yoga society. Let him sit down. For five hours he will fail. They are so restless. Simply official fifteen minutes, half an hour, by closing the house and murmuring something, meditate. These boys are twenty-four hours engaged in Krishna consciousness. So Krishna consciousness is so, so light. That is the test. Oh. All these boys, any man can come and ask them how they are feeling. Unless they feel some spiritual satisfaction, how they can give up everything and be engaged in this Krishna consciousness journey. Therefore, this is the test. Nainsāṅgamatistāvadurukramāṅghrīṁ Matistavat. Matistavat. Urukramanghi. Urukramanghi. Urukrama. Krishna's another name is Urukram. Urukram means, Uru means very difficult. And Krama means steps. Just like Krishna in the Bhavan avatar, he forwarded his steps up to the sky. His name is therefore Urukram. So uh, one cannot fix up his mind on the lotus feet of Krishna uh, unless Mahiya Sanga Padu Rajubi Sekam Niskin Chananang Navrita Java. This is not possible so long. He has not the opportunity of touching 
the dust of the lotus feet of a personality who is niskincha, who has no material hankerings, mahiyatha, uh, and life is dedicated only for Krishna. As soon as one comes in touch with such personality, uh, by his grace, these things, this Krishna consciousness can be achieved. Not by any other. Naishan Matistava Durukramangri. The test will be Pishatta Anatho Padamu Jadatya Mahi Asana Padura Jubisi Kam Niskinchanang Lavani Tajava. This is the test. And this is the way to approach a bona fide person and receive this Krishna consciousness from him by his mercy, by his grace. But as soon as one receives, immediately his liberation from material entanglement begins. Immediately. Immediately. And then as he makes further progress, 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 his life becomes sublime. Now one thing one may question. Suppose one has taken up to Krishna consciousness uh, out of sentiment, but he could not finish it. What is the result? That is also said in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Taktva sadharmam charanam vijam hari. Sadharma. Sadharma means everyone has got some specific duty, occupation. Everyone. So if somebody gives up his specific duty in which he is engaged, Taktva sadharma, just like uh, many boys and girls, they come here, they were engaged in something else, but all of a sudden they give up and they join this Krishna consciousness movement. So for them, Bhagavad says, Tattva sadharmam, so means his own occupation dharma. Now here the dharma is not religion, occupation and duty. Tattva sadhanmam charanam bhujam hare. Suppose after hearing some lectures of this Krishna consciousness movement, he settled, now I shall begin Krishna consciousness. And gives up his prescribed duties or occupational duty. Tattva sadhanmam charanam bhujam hare. Bhajan napakkutu patitta tujit. Bhajan. Now he begins chanting our regulative principle. But all of a sudden he falls down. He falls down. He could not prosecute. By some reason or by some circumstances he falls down. The Bhagavad says, Sir, what is the wrong with him? Even if he falls down. Just see. Even if he falls down due to the immature development of Krishna consciousness, still he is not loser. And Bhagavad says, Kuvatri Atto Abhadatan Sadhanmata. And what profit will he get one who is very uh, uh, steadily engaged in his occupationality? He is simply loser because he does not know. What is the aim of his life? But here, a person who comes in Krishna consciousness, even for a few days if he is with us, he gets the contamination of Krishna consciousness, so that in his next life he will begin again, again, again. So he is not loser. One injection of Krishna consciousness will make him someday perfect in Krishna consciousness and is sure to go back to God in both forms.
So try to spread this Krishna consciousness movement, and this is your uh, sadhana uh, execution of um, austerity, penance, because we have to meet so many opposing elements. You have to fight with them. But that is tapasya. You are tolerating so much insults and so much botheration and so much inconveniences, personal discomfort, everything, sacrifice, money, but it will not go in vain. Rest assured. It will not go in vain. Krishna will Oh, I mean to say, rewarding sufficiently to go on executing this Krishna consciousness. Thank you. Yeah. So, any question? Krishna's Rasila should not be discussed in public meeting. It is most confidential. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never discussed. He discussed Krishna's pastimes, Lila with gopis. Uh, with his confidential, very confidential circle. Or those who are, Lord Chaitanya had many uh, thousands of followers, and he was not discussing even within uh, these five persons, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Nityananda, Sri Adyaita, Galadhar, Sri Nityananda, Advaita, Gadadhar, Sivas, and himself, these five persons. So, and when he was Navadde, he was not discussing even with them what to speak of others. He set up this example so that in future people may be very cautious because Unless one understands what is Krishna, how he can understand Krishna's best time? Uh, so, uh, this discussion of Rasa Leela uh, is the summit of Krishna consciousness. It is not ordinary thing. They are purely spiritual. There is nothing material. But because we are not completely free from material concept of life, we may think that Krishna's lila is something like this material. So, that is offense. But uh, that is the ultimate goal, to understand Krishna's Ras Leela. But you have to wait for releasing that Krishna's Ras Leela, to become more perfect in Krishna consciousness. Anartha upagamam, anartha means when one is freed from uh, all anarthas. But it is so nice, in those who are with anartha misgivings, if they are devotee, if they have got uh, full surrender unto Krishna, so they also will derive benefit. So Krishna's Ras Lila means that Krishna was adopted a foster child. Is that foster child? Yes. 
of Nanda Maharaj, his father uh, exchanged. He, his father, Vasudeva, wanted to save Krishna, and he brought from Mathura to Vrindavan, uh, Gokul, and Nanda Maharaj had a daughter. So he placed Krishna on the lap of Jasada and took her as a daughter. And this daughter was given to Kansa for killing. You see, there is selfishness. He wanted to save his own son and wanted to kill Jasada's daughter. I see. So this is not selfishness. Therefore we shall misunderstand. That daughter was not ordinary child. She was the material energy herself, Durga. So when Kansa took that child by the leg and wanted to, uh, what is called, slash, smash. smash, yes, smash on the stone, the daughter slipped from his hand and appeared as Durga, that you fool, you want to kill me. Uh, the, the boy, who, the child who will kill you is already born. Don't try for killing me. He is already born. So Krishna, after sixteen years, he was in Vrindavan. Naturally there were many children, boys and girls, they played together. So they were very curious. Krishna, everyone loved. Vrindavan means simply center figure is Krishna and everyone loves. So some of the girls, they love Krishna and a girl's loving means she wants Krishna as husband. But uh, uh, according to Vedic, concept of life. The girls are married at the age of twelve to sixteen years, and boys are married from twenty to twenty-five years. So all the girls were married mostly, but Krishna was not married. And some of the girls were not married, but all the girls were very fond of Krishna. So and from the childhood they are friends that Krishna used to play his flute and all the girls would come. So this Rasila was performed on this day, the Krishna uh, in the full moon night. Uh, he played the flute and uh, the girls assembled and there was dance, this similar dance, just like ball dance in your country, but the specific significance of this dance was that Krishna bifurcated himself in so many boys, as many girls there were. And they began to dance in pair. That is some unsubstance of Rasi. So if you go to Vrindavan and if you like to dance with Krishna, the facility is for you. That is the ultimate goal of our life. If you want to love Krishna, uh, similarly as the gopis loved, you can have the chance. Or if you want to love Krishna as his cowherd's boyfriend, and that chance is also there. If you want to love Krishna as child, that chance is also there. Any capacity you try to love Krishna, Krishna is Vijatamang Prabhadante. Anyone who 
worships me, loves me in any way, I am prepared to answer. So if you want to enter into the Rasa-lila, if you desire like that, so you love Krishna in that way as the gopis, then you will have the same perfection. There is no difficulty. It is not at all difficult. Simply you practice. But you have to forget the Rasa-lila of this material world. Otherwise there is no chance. If you want to imitate that Jasrila in the material world, then you play havoc. Then there, that risk is there. Yes. Krishna enjoyed with so many girls, so let me also become Krishna and enjoy. That is finished everything. <laughs> She is appreciating. <laughs> yes? Thank you.
जाएं उस पाप पर मंगल सप्रिब्रा जगाचा जस्ते करे श्री समाद अपने धाम दशर श्री गुरुशानी को बात की जाए अंत पूरी भूषण मिलने की जाए नामाचा जस्ते हरिदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद में श्री अद्वैत राधा सुवाता जी बहु भक्ति मिल गया श्री राधा कृष्ण को गुप्ना शाम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी उद्धन की जाए बिन्नावन धाम की जाए नवदीप धाम की जाए गंगा माय की जाए जमुना माय की जाए गुरु द्वारका धाम की जाए स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जाए और ग्लोरी सुधे समय और ग्लोरी सुधे समय थैंक यू वेरी मच